dare you. It's me, Skanky Priest, coming in with a new style video that is surely going to piss off the Chef El Shitty family, and it's gonna be glorious. You see, I'm not going to play a single clip of Chef McShitty's video. I'm only going to show pictures with the faces covered, and I will not speak his real legal name. So this asshole will literally have nothing, not a single solitary thing to complain about. I mean, we're going full checkmate in this bitch today. Now, before we get into our new style fuck you fudder fuck smackdowns, if you like today's video, do hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, remember to hit that bell notification so you can be a part of all the fun fuckery and snarky good times we're about to have. So Chef McGreeny underscore weenie did a live and after 45 minutes of his boring cooking content, he finally sat down to eat his overcooked sandwich and he took a bite so big I felt instantly queasy and a little uneasy. I mean, let's be really real here. The last time a man opened his mouth that wide, only grands got their 30%. Now some may ask, is there a need to open your mouth that big? And that's a great question. No, no there's not. So much of a no, in fact, that most humans have never even yawned that big. Not even the ones bored of Bumpy Ball's content. However, to piggyback off your question, I think the reason he opens his mouth that large is because of those cavity-filled cheddar cheese chiclets. I mean, imagine trying to get food past those unflossed fangs at lunchtime with a small, dainty mouth. You can't. You couldn't. You'd starve. Facts are, you have to literally be of reptilian descent to be able to unhinge your jaw to accommodate a bite that big. Which, again, kudos on the only grands. I I'm sure you're going to make viewer 32597 very happy. Okay, so Frigididi lurched her big sweaty ass all the way over to my chat again, only to say the dumbest thing one might read. <clears throat> Cue dramatic reading. <laughs> At Skanky Priest, well, well, for someone who could not give two shits about our complaints, you sure seem a little scared, hun, having to change all your thumbnails. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, and by the way, I'm not only striking, I'm chatting with YouTube, sending countless emails and reporting. This Queen of Lachine always wins. <laughs> This post made my day. First of all, aw, I made your day. Finally, I'm glad somebody did. We all know Chef McBumpy Balls can't. And secondly, I just want to say, or, or... I could just be making it harder for Chef McShitty. I mean, he can try and privacy strike this video, but I don't use his or your real names. And I don't use your faces or names in the thumbnail. I don't even say your legal names in the title or the video. And since neither of you identify yourselves in the video, then who's gonna know it's you? I do want to take a minute to offer some friendly advice. It seems you're losing sub daily. Maybe focus on that. Also, YouTube didn't say I can't re-upload. In fact, they give me time to change it. If they take it down, I'm able to modify it and re-upload it as a new video. And with that fun fact, I re-uploaded six videos back to back, some of them being re-uploads, and it bumped me up in the algorithm so much so that the two new slightly edited re-uploads got even more views the second time, and I gained a hundred plus subs in five days. 
so thank you. Also, <laughs> Bumpy Balls picks up his tang, and y'all, this clip got me in the giggles. That pinky is high enough to praise Jesus, and I think we should all take a moment to appreciate this classy-ass moment in time. You see, I don't always drink like a pretentious asshole, but when I do, they call me Bumpy Balls McTiny Tits, the lamest man on earth. Correction, the second lamest man on earth, but also not to be confused with the third lamest man on earth. God, over the last few videos I've had to endure, I have noticed that Frigididi is always sucking her goddamn dentures. All right, guys, let's take a short day trip to make believe. Do any of you think Bumpy Balls plays with her teeth? While she sleeps? Do you think it's like Silence of the Lambs, but with dentures? With this new information, does anyone else need a ride to counseling? Okay, so they go on to say that people are lying, specifically Skanky Priest. He will have us know that Fuddy Duddy, the musical shit-talking channel, has been monetized since last year. And let me be clear, I feel like you're directing this solely at me, but more importantly, what are you two morons rambling about now? When did I say that that little channel wasn't monetized? I don't think I have. In fact, I don't think I've ever talked about that tiny channel making money. I do, however, currently see that Social Blade is saying your itty bitty shitty channel isn't making any money. And if you haven't gotten it yet, I'm subtly reminding you that I, Skanky Priest, am the bigger channel this time. So put some respect on my name, you little bitch. And that's Skanky with a K. Okay, so tough talk aside. And before I rebrand my channel, Bumpy Balls is giving his signature little dick energy and goes on to say his Fuddy Duddy channel wasn't created to make money and that he's gotten a check before, but he demonetized it back in October. And A, good news, you don't have to worry about your channel making money. And B, who the fuck still gets checks these days? It's called direct deposit, you worthless techno avoid. I mean, holy shit, miss, these two twats are old as fuck. Also, Mr. Paisen checks, I want receipts of when I said anything about your monetization. You want to call me a fucking liar? Well, let's go, only grands. Prove it. Where did I say anything about the Fuddy Duddy channel being monetized? Don't worry. I'll wait. And while we wait for him to comb Jimmy Hoffa's pockets for that proof, we'll move on to the part where he says that I'm blah, 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 and that I may be scared of his strikes and blah, blah, blah. But if I may suggest a more reasonable explanation, I don't care. I'm simply wanting to make it harder for you to privacy strike my videos. I know it's well above your education level, so allow me to dumb it down. Like I said before, covering your faces with clown faces, it's not only hilarious, it makes it harder for you to strike my thumbnails. And by not identifying you by legal name, I'm not breaking your privacy. So good and bad news, I'm gonna still talk about your stupid talentless ass and get more creative as I go. And the people get to look at the clown faces knowing it's you underneath. And well, never mind, forget what I said. That's just good news, better news if you ask me. Also, while making this video, I joyously got the news that I have now won two of the three takedowns and the third one's still pending. Just a friendly reminder, the forms you fill out clearly state a few things you're gonna have to lie about if you wanna strike me or my videos going forward. And tisk tisk, by the way, lying and falsely striking has consequences, don't you know? And while I'm not saying they will, YouTube could get tired of your shit and decide to punish you if you keep lying, but by all means, Keep it up. These wins are hilarious and I enjoy slapping you in the face with them. And sure, I may lose one or two if you're lucky, but you're gonna lose more than that going up against someone like me. 
but do keep trying. Also, fun fact, for every one video that comes down, five more will go up, and they will become harder and harder to strike. Hell, it's gonna get to a point there's nothing there, and you'll have to give up knowing that I'm still talking about you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. So good luck, buddy. He gleefully says he makes me work all day fixing stuff, and to that I say, or, or, I have thumbnails preloaded and it takes three seconds to change them. However, you're the one spending countless hours falsely privacy striking me. So ask yourself, no, strike that. Ask someone who isn't mathematically challenged, who's really putting in the effort in this symbiotic relationship of ours. You spend hours to complain versus my mere minutes to annoy. <laughs> Okay, guys, this face inspires me to go moisturize, but do let me know what you all think. Is Greeny Weenie getting his bumpy little balls in a twist over my content as funny for y'all as it is for me? As always, thanks for watching. Stay skanky. Hey, morons, thanks for the hip new rebrand. If you think of any more, do let me know. Oh, and don't forget to go fuck off. Oh.